Hi everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 modding tutorial. Uh, in this one, we'll just briefly be covering um, how to change the sky in your world. It's actually pretty straightforward, um, but not totally intuitive if you're new, so I'll just go over it um, and explain how it works along the way. So to start off, we're just here in the data ABC um, base world folder. Um, sky textures and models are all stored in the world. So we need to go to data ABC worlds, ABC world one. And I don't like this view, so I'm just gonna change it to details. Okay, so we've got a number of files in here. Um, and you'll notice right away that we've got this one here, abc.sky. So that's obviously the file we're gonna wanna open. I've just got my notepad editor here in which I've opened the file. So we can see that we have um, this section here called sky info and this covers some um, settings like fog, uh, view distance, so this covers how far away um, object models will fade from high resolution to low resolution, that sort of thing. But we want to go down to the bottom here where it says dome info and this is where the sky dome settings are changed. So we actually have a few options for changing things around here. We have the texture field. This is the actual um, image that is going to be projected onto the sky dome model. And in this case by default it's sky yav2. So that's the default Yavin sky, and I'll just show you what that looks like here. Here we go. So that just looks like that, and it gets sort of um, stretched out, and I believe this stretches around half of the dome, and then it actually gets duplicated on the other half. So that's the texture. Uh, we have the angle. This is just the angle at which the sky uh, dome model is rotated. So you can sort of rotate it around um, and maybe have the sun facing a different angle. Um, ambient, this is just the ambient light color of the dome. We want to leave that the same most times. Um, filter, I'm not totally sure what it does. Uh, threshold and intensity, these are just um, brightness settings. You have softness, that's the softness of the light that's being um, emitted from the sky. Softness parameter I'm not totally sure about, but again, most of the time, these settings in here, you don't really have to worry about. It's mostly just angle, texture, and dome model. So that brings us down to this section here. Dome model has a geometry um, setting, and we have sky, yav2 as the geometry. So that's not the same as this texture, but it's actually a .mesh file. So that's here, sky, yav2. And that is basically a dome-shaped model that gets projected around the world. So it has no real size. You're never, no matter how far you run or fly, you're never going to be able to touch it. Um, the scale is not really there either so you can't if you make it bigger or smaller it doesn't really matter it's just the shape that gets projected around your world so if we want to change this we could theoretically just take uh, another sky texture and copy that into the world one folder and then just enter that in the texture field however the sky yav2 dome model is going to have a certain set of uvs which are um, controlling how the texture is projected and it'll probably look funny if we just take another one and, and put it in there. In a lot of cases it will work especially if the sky texture you're using is set up um, very similarly to this one but in our case we're just gonna grab a whole new sky file and move it into our world. So to do that we want to go to just our Battlefront 2 Mod Tools base folder. So this is outside of Data ABC. Go to Assets, Worlds, 
and I think I would like to copy the let's go with the um, Hoth sky so go to worlds Hoth world one and generally you can just um, find the sky file, open it up, go to dome info. Now, the Hoth sky file is a bit different, and I'll go over some of the things that are in here as well, because there is a little bit more to it than what we have in the ABC sky file. So you can see here we've actually got a few dome models. So the first one is just the Hoth sky dome. That's the same as in the ABC one. So it's just a big dome that gets projected around. And then you've got dome model, uh, the second one here, the geometry is Hoth Mountain. And I won't show you right now, but I can basically explain that Hoth Mountain, rather than being a dome, is actually a ring that fits inside of the dome model. And it has this texture, um, where is it? Oh, it's up here in the PC folder. Here we go, Hoth Mountain. So has this texture, which just gets projected in a ring around. So that is basically what you'd see in the Hoth world, where there's a you know a bunch of mountains around the edge of the map. So those aren't real; those are just a sky dome texture. Okay, and then you've got some settings in here like offset. So this would be vertical offset, up or down. So this one's offset up a little bit, so that you can actually see the mountains and movement scale. This is basically how does the um, the model shift in comparison to the uh, sky dome when you run around. So it provides a sense of depth. For example, if you're looking at some distant mountains and you've got another mountain that's closer, if you move you're going to see that the closer mountain kind of shifts um, back and forth as you move from side to side in comparison with the one that's further away. So that's basically what you're looking at here with this setting. Uh, this one's a PS2 only um, model so we don't need to worry about that. We've got another one here which is Hoth Cannon. So that's the Ion Cannon from the movies and that's just set um, a little bit lower you can see a little lower than the uh, mountains and it's got roughly the same movement scale so it looks like it's in the distance pretty far away. Anyway I'm not going to worry about copying the mountains or the ion cannon at this point but I do want to take the sky dome and the texture which is sky hoth dot targa. Okay, so let's Let's grab that here and copy it. So sky hoth, and we always want to take the dot option file if there is one for the texture. And we need hoth sky dome and the dot option for that as well. Okay, and so we'll copy, go back to ABC. And we could just throw these right in here. Um, typically, it's a good idea just to be safe to, if, if something's in a PC folder in the assets, just make your own PC folder inside your world folder and put everything in there. Okay, so now we just need to go back to our abc.sky file. Change the texture to sky path. We can leave the angle, ambience, everything that's fine. And then change the dome model to the same as the dot mesh file. So that's Hoth Sky Dome. And you know we can look through here and just see if there are anything, any other settings we want to change. We could change the angle, but that doesn't really matter for what we're doing. That's mostly for just getting the lighting to look like it's coming from the sun. Um, Maybe we will copy the, the mountains, but just not right now. Okay, so that's all there is to it really. You just save that and go back to data ABC and let's munge it. You just need to munge the world folder. There we go. And I'll open up my 
mod tool. Oops. Go to our example map. Launch it. Okay, so let's spawn. And you can see that we have a completely different sky texture in there now. Which actually fits our lighting that we had already set up pretty nicely. So pretty happy about that. Right. So I'll exit that. And now let's copy the mountains over. So if we go back to hoth.sky, and then if we go back to data ABC, worlds, ABC, world one, let's go into PC folder. Looking in the hoth.sky file, we just need to copy over this section here, dome model. So this adds a new model and the geometry is hoth mountain. So copy that. and go back to ABC World 1 PC or sorry I don't know what I'm doing there we go go back to the dot sky file and paste that there so we have geometry hoth mountain dot mesh we'll leave the uh, offset as 80 and see what that looks like save that and here's what I was going for before we want to change or we want to copy over hoth mountain dot mesh and the option file and the targa and dot option file. Copy and paste. And one thing you'll notice is that the texture is only specified in the sky file for the dome itself. For the extra model here, there's no texture parameter for that. So if you want to make your own custom Hoth Mountain or something like that, you would have to make a new texture and it would have to be called Hoth Mountain unless you want to hex edit the model of uh, the Hoth Mountain mesh file to have a new texture. But that's definitely not something that's covered in this tutorial. So all you need to know is that the Hoth Mountain texture is specified in the mesh file so it has to be there. You can't just change it in here. Okay so now we've got that in, we've saved that, um, we'll go ahead and Munge in ABC. Again, we only need to munge the world, not common. And we're done. So let's see what that looks like in game. Just load the map. And okay, here we go. You can already see. We've got some mountains in there. Okay, so that looks really nice, I think. Maybe we'll come back later and change the terrain texture to be something a little more snowy that matches, but that can be something that's done another time. All right, so we had a look at sky models and textures. Um, if you have any questions, basic questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Or if you need to know about uh, anything else related to skies or lighting, feel free to ask on the gametoast.com forums. Thanks for watching.